Hello traders, Gary Wagner with WFGForex.com, your daily market update for Forex Gold. It is the 29th day of July, it is Wednesday, and this is the Daily Report. Forex Gold is currently trading higher, 1168.38. It's trading up about 4 or $5.00. It has had a low today of 11.59 and a high of 11.70. In today's report, we're going to talk about the candle that we saw yesterday, which was the doji, the possibility of a bottom activity in the market, a revised wave count, and the candlestick patterns that we're looking at today. We did see a nice move in the uh, Comex Gold over in New York today. Uh, Comex Gold actually closed up about $8.80 higher at around eleven seventy one. Right now, as I said, it's only trading up 4 to $5 higher. But we do have a interesting scenario. As you can see, this is our wave count uh, beginning from our impulse waves. Waves 1 through 5, 1, 3, and 5 being our impulse, 4, and two being our corrective and of course this the beginning of our corrective phase this long a wave traders has this a wave potentially come to an end we have been talking over the last few days about some good technical technical history in this area when this market sold off that gave us an indication that there should be some support in this area I'm basing it upon a couple of trend lines that we're drawing. First of all, at the bottom of this wave five, I've got this one line that I've drawn in here. This low right in here that came, oh, mid-April. And then, of course, our Fibonacci retracement, which is our 50% level at 1155. As the market came down yesterday, we pointed out the fact that this doji is a significant candle in that it can illustrate and really pinpoint consolidation in the market, a shift between the energy of the bulls and the bears, and kind of a turning point in the market. We've seen it before, most notably at the beginning of wave one, right down here, you had this really, really long-legged doji, and that signaled the absolute bottom of the market. You can find dojis at many, many points where the market consolidates, and it's been a great indicator in gold that something, something is about to happen. Now, we talked about a pattern called a Three River Morning Star, and it's a three-day pattern. We're going to talk about it in detail in a little bit, but we didn't get that long white candle today that would be indicative of a true Three River Morning Star. However, the one thing that you need to know, traders, is that with this long drop that we had, for this to be considered a long candle, of course, in relationship to this $25 day would have to be quite a sizable move. We certainly didn't see that today, but what we did see is the market come down, form this doji here, and today's trading activity is notably higher. What I find that's interesting is that it's notably higher at a point in which, as I just spoke about, there's some good technical history in terms of potential support with Fibonacci retracement at 50% and the trend lines that we just took a look at. So traders, I am viewing this as a variation off of a Three River Morning Star, this three-day pattern right in here. We have decent confirmation in terms of a technical history. And the strongest thing I think that we can look at is the clear-cut 50% retracement on our Fibonacci retracement sequence as a good potential place for support. Fundamentally, they uh, cited in the news that we were looking at some short covering 
as well as some bargain hunting in the market. In other words, this was a technically based move that we saw here. There's really not a lot of fresh fundamental news that came in the market to push it up. We have just had this market come down so solidly that those who have been short can be short covering. And also, those that are looking to purchase felt that in terms of bargain hunting, this was certainly buying the dip. And if, in fact, this does become a short-term or we'll call it an interim bottom, traders, let's be cognizant and cautious of one particular fact. And that is, if it's going to follow our true Elliott Wave cycle, meaning we had our fifth final impulse come in here, our A wave come in here, and let's just for assumption's sake say that this A wave does end at the bottom of this doji, and we begin our B wave, I am only looking at this as a short or interim term move in the market before our final C wave down. Now, where would I look for it to go? Typically, in terms of basic Elliott wave theory, we look for our B wave to roughly be 50% to 75% of the move of our A wave. So that a 50% move takes us roughly to this area, 1212, which is kind of why I find it interesting in that at 1212, we're back at a Fibonacci 23% retracement. To go 50%, you're looking at around 1230, somewhere in, or excuse me, 75%, somewhere right in this area. So that in terms of a straight range in which I think this market could potentially move up to if in fact we do get a bottom indication and as I said yesterday I don't believe that this is something that's going to take a long time we'll know in the next couple of days but these are the target areas that I would be looking for for this B wave to travel to the clearest indication I think that we're going to see is we're going to move out of that alternating candle pattern as you can see, when we had these narrow ranges, we had an alternating pattern of lower close, higher close, lower close, higher close, and, and so forth. The same with this until the market would break. And then here, although it's only been two days, we do have two red candles. So what would I be looking for? Well, I would be looking for something like this. In other words, we would get confirmation of this in the same way we would have with the Three River Morning Star. Although, it, in other words, what's going to happen is this particular move, this red candle will take a couple of days. If we get confirmation, in other words, another trading day where this market moves higher, I think that we might have potentially found the bottom of our A wave and it will be safe to take a short term stab at the market on the long side. And as I said, I would look for the market to trade higher. But as I said, I'm not looking for a long term trade here because I think that we're still fully entrenched in this corrective phase so what I would look for is and and it wouldn't be straight up like this but I would look for a move roughly to the 50% area I would look for some sort of a reversal and that of course would look something like this we would then begin to get a series of black candles or the beginning of that final wave that C wave down So do I think that effectively we have finally concluded this A corrective wave right in here. Traders, it is a little bit too early to tell, but as you know, I believe that because of the history that we have technically in terms of support, our 50% retracement level here, and as I said, a couple of matching areas in which we do have good support based on some lows which are going to give us some indication of market support technically and the fact that we had this doji yesterday which I always look for because the dojis are so incredibly strong in letting us know that the market is about to consolidate and has that potential for a reversal we've now gotten this upside day here as I say trading about four or five dollars higher it is a variation off the Three River Morning Star. If, in fact, we do get 
a confirming candle on this move, which would look something like this, I think that it is a safe play to go ahead and enter the market for a shorter term long position and as I said traders I'm not looking for a major move here because I still think we're in a corrective phase and I would just be looking at this as our B wave up and then the final corrective wave that C wave down. This has been Gary Wagner with WFGForex.com wishing you as always good trading We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.